that's uh, thinking about. Okay, there we go. Okay, right, now we're good. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I still have all the same subjects for those of you that are returning. Um, the language arts, including spelling, literature, English, and then I have the social studies, and a lot of the things will be um, the same as last year. We're going to work on, for those of you who are new, we're going to work on the ability to do projects, hands-on projects, um, socially distant, which will be a whole new thing, but we'll get into that shortly. <laughs> I'll let you introduce. Uh, I'm still Miss R, and I still teach uh, math and science, and, uh, and I coach soccer, so if anybody's thinking about playing, they should play. <laughs> <laughs> That's my point. She, she she wants players. Yeah. Um, Mrs. Hope Tanner uh, will still have third through eighth grade for religion classes. So looking forward to that. And what days will memory? Um, oh, I didn't know you wanted me to do all that. Sure. Um, so we'll have our workbooks. The online students will have worksheets that'll be um, available for them based on the lessons from the workbook. Um, so they won't actually have a workbook. Um, I do memory work with the kids twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's fill in the blank. Um, most of you have done it before. If there is anybody that's new, um, third and fourth get their uh, word banks all the time. Fifth and sixth get a word bank on anything that's new to them that they hadn't had. So if you are brand new, then expect that you'll have some extra help there. The returning students already know that and they're good with it. Um, and, and they expect that I'm gonna give some extra help to kids that have never done it before. Um, also the seventh and eighth, they usually get no word banks uh, with the exception of new students. So that'll be twice a week. We are planning, um, I'm planning to do that through Google Classroom. So that way online students get the same exact quiz that the uh, classroom students will get plus they keeps us fresh on some Google Classroom procedures in case for any reason we do have to revert back, which hopefully we won't. We want this virus to drop down to low enough that we can move forward. Um, what I would like is everyone that's already in the Remind for your grade, that's great, that will continue. If you're not in the Remind, which is a text or an app, that I can send out to everyone and you can reply to me and only I get it versus the whole group. Um, I'd like to give you the codes and I'll put them up in a minute so you can sign up for the remind text so I can get you information that way and I get it out a lot that way. And I will include um, the schedule in a picture that way and then also the, the dates for the language arts assignments such as book reports and research paper Yes, we're doing research paper again in third quarter. Um, so I, yeah, I know there's a lot of cheering going on. <laughs> I cheered, I like helping with it. <laughs> but so I will be putting those dates and the schedule out on the remind text. So if you could sign up for that as soon as possible and all you do is text to code. Oh, I forgot to put that on this paper. Um, but I will get that to you momentarily. I just need something to write. All right. Um, other things. Chicago schedule. Protocol. Um, let's do that in a second. Um, so we are going to continue with that past program that we did last year. So that was that online uh, test prep thing that the kids are working on. Um, they did it more in school. Some, I think, did it at home. Um, it is 100% required whether you are at home or in person this year and the regulations for that did change. It's not going to be based on 60 minutes anymore. It's going to be based on trophies earned. So um, your students can probably tell you what that looks like. Um, if not, we'll work on it. Um, but they need to earn two trophies each week and that's the new uh, way we're going to monitor it. So that should be easier than trying to decide, have I done 60 minutes? Have I not done 60 minutes? Just because you can't, like there was no way to look at that. Um, and so I'm excited about that change. So that should make things easier. 
Oh, another thing, um, in-person students this year, in addition to loaning you textbooks, I am loaning you a whiteboard in class. So it's just like a small personal whiteboard. I have given each person a marker to start with. Um, should that dry out, you will either need to purchase It doesn't have to be expo targets, got some that aren't that expensive and they work pretty well. Um, and it would also probably be helpful to have an old sock to use as an eraser. It can have a hole in it, that's fine, <laughs> but it works really well as an eraser and then we won't uh, run out of tissues so quickly in my room. Sports, did we cover that or not really? We didn't. For sports, I know that's been a big question. We are hoping to be able to have sports. Um, a lot of that is determined by the mandates in place. Um, at this point, I would say that soccer would probably be a go unless anything changes and you know things can change by the day. But uh, I think that that's a definite possibility for us. So if you're interested in playing soccer, please let us know the first day of school and we can determine practices and how that'll work. And we still have to follow a lot of the protocol. So if you are playing sports, we will give you the information you need and what that will look like as far as um, in the whole mass sanitizing and the forms that need to be filled out, the questionnaire about um, with the temperature and the questions and things like that. And so I will give you all that information um, when you need it, but I think that we will be able to have a season. I'm hopeful anyway. Um, when they come into the school in the morning, Mr. Burke already put that out there that there'll be um, wash hands, sanitize, come in the classroom, especially in my classroom this year, I'm able to have the desks apart and there'll be times when they can take their masks off at their desk for snack. They might do snack a lot. <laughs> um, but, and there'll be some other times and we are all, each class will go out to recess on their own time so that they wouldn't have to wear the mask while they're out there. But we will wear them when we're in class with, with some time, being time just to, to take it off and breathe a little at our desk. I think that's it. Do we want to start addressing some of the questions on the side? And so spelling, or unless you had something else. Just a quick, another thing I'm getting asked about is Chicago. So as you know, we're supposed to go every other year. Last year that couldn't happen this past spring for obvious reasons, but we are still going to fundraise as if, well, we're, we know it's going to take place, not this school year, but next school year, but it takes the two years of fundraising. So sixth and seventh graders will be fundraising for Chicago and there'll be something that comes out um, for a mom, the mom's order. So we can start that pretty much right away. Okay, I can't see the questions on the side. <laughs> the first one's about spelling. Are we doing spelling? We're doing spelling, yes. And we're starting spelling on Monday. <laughs> And it will be due Thursday since we don't have school on Friday, but typically it will be due on Friday, just like it has been. And there'll be tests unless you're online. I'm still figuring out how to do the online testing. And then the next question is, uh, you said something about hands-on projects in class. What does that look like for an online? Um, well, for the seventh and eighth, we still did the graphic organizers, which we were a little bit more creative with the online, um, but there, now that I've learned more about it, there's definitely things we can add and stuff, but that would be about as... Um, so it'd be more of like a graphic design. It's graphic design. However, there's going to be, there's going to be book reports where you can um, build things and take pictures of the process or video of the process and explain that to me to go along with your book report. So there'll be times for hands-on at home also. Did I get that? Yeah. Okay. That's the, third. That's the same thing again. About the hands on project. Okay. Uh, is there anything else that we didn't cover that people are wondering about? I do have a question. Um, I don't know if you guys can answer it or not. I'm just curious to know what the class sizes actually look like. Like, 
who's at I don't need to know who's at home, but like how many kids are in Josiah's classroom kind of thing. At this point I'm at nine in the classroom, I believe. Oh that's been, not No, it, it's been changing too and I there's a few online, but I, I'm pretty sure it's nine at this point. Okay, cool. So All we right. can keep our desks pretty far apart. Yeah, for you too. Just like <laughs> saying, I'm excited to have Miss Moody. I just need to make sure she drinks her coffee every day. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I'm going to have to lift the mask for that one. I've tried drinking yeah. it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> totally. That's cute. I think that's all for me, though. So. <laughs> Any other questions, concerns? We are so excited to be back in person. I can't even tell you. We missed it so much being with the kids. And so that's what we've been talking about it. We're really happy to be yeah. here. And we couldn't have a better theme with it being fully rely on God. I mean, in the midst of all this chaos, what's the thing that's gotten so many of us through? It's been our faith. And as soon as you, the very next thing is family. So, you know, it's, it's that that's gotten us through. So I'm, I know I'm and this, and I love green. So frogs tend to come with green. So, you know, I'm all excited about that too. <laughs> I don't know if Faith's out there listening, but. <laughs> you guys don't have more, are you all, I don't have my glasses on, but I think you're all returners, aren't you? Do we have any new? Any questions? I feel like I have questions for you guys, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you come up with them, you know how to reach us. Oh yeah, I know how to reach you too, very well. <laughs> Are there going to be the classes like Spanish and computer and everything? Yes. Yes. Are they with the Livonia schools or like it was before? Yeah. Some, do we have some from more than one? Music will be the only thing that's from Avondale. What about art? Now she brought that up. What about art? Yep. We have uh, art computer, Spanish for the seventh and eighth grade, uh, wow. PE and music. Okay, cool. I don't know how many, like for us, Mrs. Moody and I won't, uh, we will be the ones switching classrooms so that we don't have to sanitize desks over and over again. Um, so I think some of those share time classes will take place inside the classrooms too with that in mind, because every time a new class comes in, then you have to sanitize everything again. And we as teachers will be doing the sanitizing. Yes. <laughs> we'll be doing a lot of it anyway, but it, it saves some of it if we switch and the kids stay in their classroom, but we'll give them time to, you know, stand up and, and get Wiggle. some wiggles out. <laughs> Might have to play purple stew. I know that's a favorite for some. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be here when you do it once. <laughs> okay. Dance in their seats. Uh, I believe the uh, share time teachers are supposed to be posting things online um, for those that are online. So but they're um, not starting. They until... won't start until September 8th. So those of you in person will get stuck with me for share time classes <laughs> and the, for the first week. Um, and those online, you won't need to even worry about those until uh, September 8th. And I don't know exactly how they're planning on doing that, but obviously as soon as we know, we will share that with you. Do you want to put that in the chat? Do you mind? I think. Some popped up. Yes, uh, the kids will all have their own Google account and can use Google Classroom um, to do their assignments and whatnot. Um, we will not be able to be online to answer questions live like we were in the spring. Um, so that's uh, obviously questions can still be emailed and asked um, and if needed due dates can be extended but uh, expect to not be able to do that piece of it.
And Star is putting the remind codes on the chat part. Since I don't know, I do have my glasses here, but I can't see from the paper to the computer. <laughs> I do, I do have a question. I've got Sam who gets out at 310. When do they get out there? I'm trying to figure out who I should pick up first from school. We get out at 310 also. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should probably let Sam sit and wait and get Josiah first. Either way, I mean, if we have soccer too, you said Josiah's playing soccer, so that would oh. be... One less worry. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be, wouldn't it? Yes. Okay. More reason to have soccer. Yeah. Oh, he's excited. He wants to get out in the field. He's a defenseman, so he loves to play defense. <laughs> yeah. Can you change these around, or is that not going to work? Can this be five, six, no. and seven, eight? No. Most of them are ah, I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Disregard. Yeah, I don't know why I put seven, eight first. Well, because that's there nine. we go. And then five, six. Chrissy, we can reset his password for, for him. Everybody's password. Oh, I reset everybody's password. So I will. No, are you guys in need of items for sanitation? Like, do you need hand sanitizer? Because we can run over to Sam's Club. They got gallons of it. Is is the school in need of it? Mr. Burke, Dan? Yes. <laughs> we will take any donations that you can give us. <laughs> okay. Okay. I didn't know, like, you know, if you were, like, overstocked or kind of like how everyone was toilet paper are now. Kids so, do. Parents. No, no, we are, we are stocking up in case once uh, public schools do go back in person that we will be short throughout this country. So yeah, we'll we probably take anything there. now. Probably okay. run out there this weekend and get a couple gallons. We appreciate it. Thank you very oh, much. Anytime. I don't know about the Clorox wipes though. Those are really hard to find. So yeah, that's okay. Yeah. The hands anything else, please reach the out. There's yeah. going to be more in need. Than Thank you. Yeah. Do you have the right? Code? Are they going to? I do, but I can't get rid of the other one that's already in the chat. So you might have some that are in the wrong spot. You might need to tell them to move. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I have written seventh, eighth remind codes first, um, and then fifth, sixth on the paper. And Miss Rainierson typed it five, six for you. Can tell seven, eight's my homeroom, five, six is hers because she put five, six first. I put seven, that's eight. Miracle first. order. I'm the math teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not a math teacher. So the first. Set is wrong. Look at the second set, correct? Yes. Okay. The seventh eighth should be the GKAC42. If you were in 5 6 last year, you'll still be in the 5 6 remind. If you were in 7 8 last year, you'll still be in there. You might need to boot people, <laughs> especially when this goes like to video. <laughs> Okay, so if we're already in it, we don't have to text it again. Yep, you're all set. Okay, and are they eating lunch in the classroom or are they going to the lunchroom? Yeah, no, they're in the classroom with me. Okay. <laughs> of course, they would have been in the lunchroom with me, but. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay, well, if you think of any, I mean, you're welcome to leave. You don't have to sit here and stare at us. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. See you guys tomorrow. All right, sounds good. What is Thursday?